dietitian Alison Barnes wants to show a group of office workers just how much energy in the form of sugar these carbs release into their bloodstream. OK, so I've lined up a selection of foods. We've got a bagel and a chocolate muffin. OK, so I would say that that is more sugar course. than this one. Maybe two cubes for that one? We're calling this blood sugar bingo. Can our volunteers guess the equivalent cubes of sugar in each of these foods? What do you think? Yeah, let's... Five to make let's it... Go, let's go five. OK. So you've gone for the, the muffin as the slightly higher one. I'm just going to add to that. Oh, oh, whoa. <laughs> Double. Oh, wow. my... Okay. So ten sugar cubes in that muffin. This one, so you've gone for two, so it's more starchy, less sugary? Yeah, less sugary. Okay. That's what we're guessing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So let's just add to this one. Oh, well. Wow. Uh, maybe not. That's the same as the muffin. I'm going to add one more. More sugar. Oh, so there's 11 sugar cubes <laughs> equivalent okay. in this bagel. I'm shocked, I won't lie, I'm yeah. shocked. Yeah. What you're saying is that in the bagel, when you eat it, you chew it up and start to digest it, your body is breaking that starch down into that quantity of sugar. The equivalent of sugar, yeah, yeah, wow. exactly. This is a, a portion of white rice, and then you've got a nice bowl of strawberries. The rice. Yes, let's go for... Five. I would never have put sugar with rice. <laughs> Strawberries. I would have put half of that bowl. <laughs> <laughs> they are sweet. Two more, yeah. OK, so in this amount of strawberries, there is... <gasps> four sugar cubes. Mm, so, wow. yeah, so although they taste sweet, actually the amount of carbohydrate that they contain is, is quite small. So let's compare that to this portion of rice then. Oh, no. So you've gone for five, so just let oh, me. No. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna do this. No oh, rice again. Oh word. <laughs> oh my god. Really? It's grains of sugar that we're eating. Okay, I'm not eating rice no more. It's and there, rice. so that is that's 20 sugar cube equivalents. Jack potato. Yeah. Can you not do that? It's my favourite food, potato. <laughs> <laughs> I would go with. Similar to the bagel, yeah? yeah it's like about ten. You've got quite a good poker face, Alison. <laughs> 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 so in fact there's there's nineteen sugar cubes wow. in this in this jacket potato. It's almost <laughs> almost double what you thought. And I'm so sorry, I'm Hannah. Gonna cry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm it's a shame. Yeah, it's yeah. a shock where where are they hide in all the sugar. I think one of the one of the key things to take away from this is that looks can be deceiving. Mm. So just because a food doesn't necessarily taste sweet doesn't mean that there's not going to be sometimes an awful lot of sugar going mm -hmm. into your, your system after you've eaten it. The thing that this really rams home for me is that there is a huge amount of energy in a potato and that pile of glucose there that will, your body will turn the potato into will be stored as fat unless you burn it off. Unless you burn so it off. You have to be careful about what you're putting in your mouth.